crafty friends it's jess from jesscrafts.com and today i am here with a project for the may release from newton's nook designs this new stamp set is called newton's book club and it includes a couple of cute images of newton with books so great for any of the book lovers and cat lovers in your life and it includes a sentiment that is particularly fun for that where it says a home is not complete without books or a cat and i'm going to be using that on these little bookmarks today. I thought it would be fun to show you how to make these really popular magnetic bookmarks. You could of course just do a traditional bookmark but just to mix it up a little bit and in case you hadn't seen them. So I showed you at the beginning too that I um, made commercial ones that I had bought but I'm going to make my own by stamping Newton here in the corner and I'm going to stamp him in some MFT black licorice hybrid ink because I want to do some Copic coloring later on and I want to get a nice crisp clean impression so I am using my Misty tool of course you could just use a stamp block and probably get a great impression if you have a brand new stamp I do generally recommend to ink it a few times before um, using it on your final project maybe just stamp it on some scrap paper to kind of just get the stamp going I find that that is generally true of high quality clear stamps that the very first impression may not be the best so I stamped two different cat images and in order to create the bookmark I'm going to do some score lines. Here on my Martha Stewart scoreboard at first I thought I would go over two notches but actually you really just want to go over one notch. You want a very small amount of room in between the fold. You don't want to fold it just one fold, you want there to be two. Uh, two score lines however you don't want there to be much room in between because you only want to stick about a page or two in between and if you go too thick it's kind of awkward and it also makes it more difficult to cut out so the second time through I um, did a little bit better job on the scoring and even though it's not folded perfectly in half you can simply take your scissors at this point and fussy cut around the image and the back and front will be both sufficient for um, cutting. You don't have to cut them out separately or do any tracing or anything like that. Just holding them together will generally get a um, good tracing around both. And you can do a number of things to the back if you want to make it look more decorated. You could, if you also prefer, simply make the back of the stamp in a rectangle shape. I've seen it done both ways with the different bookmarks available commercially where some people just kind of do the, the rectangle back or some who keep the shape. And I decided to keep the shape because I wanted to fit in one of the sentiments. A house is not a home without books or cats. And I'm going to use a different sentiment for the other bookmark as well to showcase some of the other ones there. But this release from Newton's Nook Designs has been really adorable. It also has some fun um, new standalone dies and a solid stamp set. So if you haven't checked out the blog hop yet this week, be sure to head on over. There will be a link in the video description to the blog hop where you can enter a chance to win some of these new stamps. And to finish off my bookmark, all you need is some magnets with double-sided adhesive. They don't have to be any sort of special magnets. Just cut it in half and either use the sticky back on it or add some extra adhesive. And they will cling to each other and you will be able to slip it on your book pages and you'll be ready to go. Great gift for a cat slash book lover in your life. And that is it for this video today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in more crafting tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. As mentioned, this is part of a blog hop, so if you're interested in winning these products, be sure to follow the link in the video description to my blog post and um, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.